These are our top four favorite wines, and one of them is getting dethroned today. <laughs> welcome, welcome to Winecast. I'm Hale. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is a uh, I realized we hadn't introduced ourselves in any of the previous ones, so oh, we're yeah. just like anonymous. Anonymous wine. We should just black out our faces. <laughs> Like voice change, mm-hmm. um, just anonymous, uh, blonde, informants. Uh, dirty blonde, uh, matching hair boys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, wine. Uh, yeah, we're here it's providing sem- semi wine enthusiasts, insider trading anything. secrets. <laughs> <laughs> this is <laughs> gonna get locked up for the things we're saying about about this wine mm-hmm. um, in a good way. But most people locked don't up in a good way. <laughs> most most people don't know, you know, the truth that we're. That we're uh, gonna put out there. Yeah, so we're just trying to. We have no idea what this wine is. Remember that? Um, remember when? Remember a number of years ago when we were trying to start a cult, or we were just, we were just, uh, we were just making that. No, it was like what, it was like a, a reality show cult. In my in my mind, oh, okay. it was like, and then you sell it to a reality, like well, kind of like the Joe Exotic thing, where he had like a cult going. Yeah. Sort of, but he also had a reality show, and then like, well, that's what we're gonna do some, with the wine. Some tigers, you know, thing. We're just trying to make a reality show cult <laughs> wine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just sell people For wine sure. within our cult. The Dionysian blood cult. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I'm yeah, in, I'm, so, in, I'm down for that. So, I yeah. think that should be like the mission for this. Uh, That's the end game sh- podcast. Is like an MTV, uh, cult beach house yeah. cult wine. TV show about, about wine. wine. Okay, somehow. I love it. <laughs> <Okay>. um, <laughs> you want me to open it, or do you want to say a little bit? Uh, well, we, I mean, we can just. Yeah, I mean, yeah. This is the wine this week. What's it called? Uh, KC Labs Zinfandel from Cavell Stat. We both. Uh, have seen uh, this Cavell stat before, but uh, not the slow turn. Not really sure what. Uh, not really sure what Cavell stat is. Like you know, what else we've. Had. I've seen the logo. Um, yeah, I mean, I've seen it. That's on us for not knowing what else. I'm sure they they're have. really popular. Yeah. yeah. Um, and maybe maybe it's because we've been drinking a lot of natural ones that we've seen it. So. Yeah. So yeah, uh, this is Zinvental, Zinvental, which is usually, it's not like a, it's not like a, a full grape, but it's definitely not usually this light. Like this is like nearly rosé, which is what our, uh, our like basically our dealer at this point, uh, at um, the our, wine dealer our, at our place down the street. Can we say the name? I think so. Yeah, Parker's Table. Yeah. Uh, they 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 get all our wine. I mean, we go other places now too, but. They really like they like us, so we like them. It's so close too, yeah. and it's really good. And they give us good stuff like this all the time. But yeah, he was like, yeah, Zim- you know, Zimmental is usually like a at least a medium body grape, and this is like not even quite that. Like you can, except for white Zinfandel. Yeah. So some but people make it, it as a white one. This doesn't have any white in it. It's all red. No, I think the white Zinfandel is they don't let so like you know how like a grape. The inside only there's only like two grape varieties where the inside of the grape is actually like red or like purple or whatever. Yeah. The rest of them it's just the skin. So if you right. want to make white wine with red grapes, oh, you gotcha. just you right. just press yeah, you it immediately before. and then you and then you get rid of the uh, the skins. Um, and it's still darker than a lot of white wine made from white grapes, but uh, you know it, it's got like a little amber hue to it. Right. So, I'm just reading the notes from this KC Labs Zin. Yep. Uh, 460 cases were made. Dude, it's uh, not a lot. Says we love light reds. Bit of an obsession. Um, Same. Uh, they are talking about some kind of carbonic fermentation. Whatever the hell that is. Uh, can I see? It Where just says that? it says for years we have thought that Zinfandel would be a great wine to play with carbonic fermentation. Okay, uh, look that up. Yeah, we can look that up. Look that up real quick. Uh, and it says we really think we hit the mark with this one. Blah 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 blah. Grape details. Zinfandel, also known as Primitivo, originally called 
Tribidag. Uh, originally a Croatian variety, this grape was actually made famous in California due to its deep, rich color and high yield potential. Um, many of California's mm -hmm. oldest vineyards are field blends with Zimadel vines scattered throughout. Very productive grapes. Um, unwieldy grape to manage. Yep. Um, Love to hear it. Uh, this particular bottle is a 2017. Um, uh, the uh, grapes were farmed and harvested with acid and freshness in mind. 50% of the grapes were dumped whole cluster into an open top tank. The other 50% were destemmed over the top. Yep. So, uh, I don't know if it was last week or the week before we had like a completely... I think it was the Pet Nat Rosé. They were completely whole cluster with stems and everything. So yep. this is like half and half. Um, uh, our idea was to coax partial carbonic on the bottom. Gentle. I don't know what these Would words love mean. to know what that means. Yeah. <laughs> we don't know um, what any of these things mean. Uh, so... You know, we're learning. That's what we're doing here. We're just we're gonna find out what carbonic uh, high fermentation tone, juicy means pop, today. Uh, uh, sh uh, six month elevation in neutral French oak. So it was aged oh, okay. in oak. Um, yeah, uh, basically just a light a light Zinfandel, light red wine. I guess this this Cavell stat they're all about the light reds. So let's get into it. You want to open it? Yeah, it sounds like a real um, real picnic. Uh, to yeah. be had a real summer uh which has kind of been a theme so far we've been really into a these. summer joy <laughs> i mean it is we are getting into summer but we've had all these like kind of lightish easy drinker glug glugs <laughs> glug glugs <laughs> yeah uh, glue glue yeah yeah uh, i mean i like saying glug glug better yeah isn't that like <laughs> doesn't that mean something else I don't know, does it? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not aware. Okay. Well, then, you know, to you, that, yeah. <laughs> then you're good. <laughs> don't try to... Uh, we're doing some... We're drinking some real glug glugs <laughs> over here. Let me have my... Let me have my innocence. Okay. I'm, I'm just done. talking about <laughs> drinking wine here. I so literally sorry. have no clue what you're talking about. Okay. I just want to highlight this. I guess he said we could have chilled it, but... It's kind of cold. I mean, it's, it's cold right. to the touch. It's, yeah. it's cooler than... Dude, this thing it, keeps it'll be sliding good. down. <laughs> um, it's cooler than room, room temp. Clear sure. bottle, which... Love to see it. I don't I'm know. all about the clear bottle these days. I don't know what days. that means, but... I tried to get a... Uh, Clear bottles for my wine, and they're kind of hard to find, actually. In the red wine. The producer on set. So we have one more glass. It's kind of brown, actually, when you pour it. Look at that. Did you see it? Watch watch right away. It's like... Did it not look brown It's just so light. Yeah, I can't tell if it's just the light or... Uh, yeah, I mean a little bit. What is it? 2017? So it's kind of old yeah 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 it is kind of old i'm gonna i, I got a lot of I'll, i'm gonna get a screwdriver real quick because this thing's just falling down on me okay so we're gonna have a, just a dead air here yeah, uh i don't know what no you don't have to wait what do we talk about and he's back with the screwdriver <laughs> it was gonna preoccupy me the entire time if i didn't just do just it. leave the screwdriver here in case we need it. Okay. Uh, what do we All got? Right. Sorry. Casey Labs Zinventel, Mendocino County, California. Light red. Mm. Okay. Snell, smell. Snells. The snells. The, the snells. The initial snell test. Yeah. Mm, yeah, it does. It's kind of, yeah. Oh, wait. I guess I didn't even. I think they kind of considered this. Um. They were like, it's natural. I don't think they added anything to it. I, uh, <coughs> <laughs> I got a big sniff. Um, 
It's it's got uh right it's off. got sulfites in it. Oh, I it saw is. it at the bottom. Oh, yeah, okay. twenty one parts per million, which is like not a lot at all. Okay. That's kind of what I go for usually. So not completely a natural wine. They put no, but native yeast. Yeah, native yeast. They put some random stuff in there, but it's all good. You know, we're not we're not natural wine snobs. By no means. Oh man, that's good. So it's a little musty. Yeah, it is. In a good way. It tastes like barely. It tastes barely, but then it but but it's so light that it's almost Attic-y. like Attic-y and light. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Like and a, fruity, but it's like, like a juxtaposition. Yeah, it, it's, it's a like real juxtaposition. It tastes like juxtaposition. an attic, but it's like also very light. Like strawberries in your attic. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you just kept you kept Or like, like earthy even too. Yeah. You know? Like you were just like you were just keeping fruit in your attic for a while and then you pulled a you pull a strawberry right out right out of the ground. Or off the plant and it's got a little dirt on it and oh yeah uh, yeah that's kind of right actually. oh our, our audio paused so can you see what monitor off, monitor on, and no uh monitor off oh it feed it was feeding back okay. and we're back so we don't know where we lost it but i don't think it has been that long so for a recap, we were saying uh, nice spinning. It's fine. It's earthy. It's it's definitely aged, but like aged light red is really interesting, actually. Yeah. Because it de- it's not like developing. It's not going from being like that big red wine that like needs the time. It's like you could have drank it. Oh two right. Two years yeah. ago, and I don't think I've like ever crazy, had. I don't have. You know? I've ever had anything like that. Where it's like, mm-hmm. it's kind of like they like did like a they did like a an aged old world red wine process, but like tried to keep it light yeah. at the same time. Yeah, so I've never like, had anything like this. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of like the uh, like the light Italian wine you can get, but that's usually like fresh. Like you're drink like they're not really aging that. Oh they're right, definitely not. It's just like we just it, like so. made fucking alcohol. It's just like, like in the barn. Yeah, like <laughs> yeah. yeah, like you go to the hardware store and you get some wine from uh yeah from me i just did that once in italy and i can't forget <laughs> about it like we would go to the hardware store every day and get three gallons of wine okay and that just sounds like it. a hell of a trip weren't you like 12 yeah <laughs> it was awesome <laughs> okay oh that's that's pretty funny mm-hmm. what uh what else what a- dude i'm trying to it's i can the whole cluster thing is definitely coming through for me where I can taste like a kind of stemmy, yeah. It reminds me. Of, of, it reminds me of your uh, 2017 one. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Which is like and that was that's, light too. that's kind of my barometer because like I saw it being made mm-hmm. and and tried like, it throughout and, the whole right. And I tried it and I like tried it as it got older. Yeah, and I know that like the stems were in there. So now I can like, I mean, I. It's easier when it's identified by like the winemaker or whatever, but I can taste like when there are st- stems. Yeah, for you know, sure. Because I compare it to what you did. Yeah, and well, that and that's like they say that's like kind of tannins. Like the stems will give it more tannins. So it's interesting to be like, we're gonna go light on the wine, but we want tannins, and then we're gonna age it to mellow the tannins. And it's like, okay, you know, fair enough. Yeah. Do your thing. So. I mean, you, you could just smash a bottle of this, oh my to be God. honest. So, yeah. um, you know, as far as that, let's do it. As far okay. as that barometer goes, uh, we're it's right. the smashability okay. factor <laughs> is like an eight out of ten. Maybe. Should we make? I think we should like. Yeah, we should start having like like games. a scale rankings <laughs> rankings. Well, yeah. okay, smash smashability. <laughs> yes, ten. Eight, eight out of ten. Eight? eight out of ten. Eight. Well, we can't okay. go top okay. on the first one, or then we're yeah. like, there's no. Or it can just be ten out of ten every time. I feel no, like this there's is just like no, like you never want to. No, have yeah. a this 10 is out definitely of 10. eight because like, there's like some wines where it's like you drink it and it's like it just like falls down your mouth. Yeah, it's like, like you don't even realize you just is, drank a whole bottle. There's a lot of taste to this because of the barrel aged and like the stems and shit. Like, yeah. So yeah, it's yeah. easily easily crushable. Could be cru- could yeah. be enjoyed. You could get three could bottle be, of these could down be, uh, pretty easily. Just but, slammed, uh, <laughs> but yeah. when it's a hundred degrees, it's out. not the. It's not like water. No, it's not water. 
Uh, okay, so uh, top seven oh, places top seven, top seven, <laughs> that you would drink this wine. Top um, seven places to drink this wine. Are we okay. each going to do it, or should we just do it? Yeah, yeah, let's each do it. That's a lot. That's 14. Okay. Well, let's, let's do top let's, three each. Or no, I don't, I don't know. Let's just, all right, let's do 14. Like, Let's do like ten. Let's just start start between, with three. Let's do ten between the two of okay, us. Okay, go for five. Okay. <laughs> okay. No, we can just both say it at you know. We'll go one in. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You start. So I think uh I don't know I don't know if this is gonna get old every time, but like my first one is always like Art Hill in St. Louis. It's like you just grab yep. a bottle and go smash it on the hill real quick. Especially because mm-hmm. we live like a half a mile away, so we can walk there and walk back. Mm-hmm. Um so I'm gonna say places to smash a bottle of Zinfandel. Second, second place. Two out, of, two out of ten. Coming in. So basically, art like just go to the park. Yeah, go to the park. <laughs> it's a picnic wine. It yeah. is a picnic wine. Yeah, Which, yeah. So then my place will be similar to a picnic, but a little different. I'm thinking like a baseball game, and whether that's like a like a t-ball game like i don't <laughs> care if it's like kids playing baseball or well, like i had my first softball game this week so did you play or no this coming oh week. this coming week nice yeah, yeah. With, so uh, you could do it and you're like boys? adult co-ed softball everybody else has got like their bud lights and you could have this and just yeah yeah that, right. <laughs> i'm actually down for that that's like because that's the worst part of baseball for me is drinking <laughs> bud light lukewarm beer for eleven dollars or something so yeah. Um, yeah, in my, in my, in my fantasy, this is at the baseball game and I get a bottle of this or a glass. Okay. Third place to drink this. Um, damn dude. (laughs) Running out of places real quick. They don't Um, have to be real, but you could be like, uh, situation. Situations. Oh man. You got another one. Fill me in here. Uh, I could go. I could go for like camping with it. Oh my god! I, I think it'd be like a good, a good camping wine, like, yeah. or like maybe yeah. a float trip. Oh uh, yeah. So like, yeah. Uh, these are just things I want to do. By the way, <laughs> like, yeah, that sounds fun. You know, so like camping, you get this. Maybe I mean we should lobby for them to make this in like, like portable, like bag or like cans or something. Oh, so yeah. you can just like bring it camping, not have like I a big like empty a bottle to carry mm-hmm. out. You know, if you want something this good in a bag, I don't know. Okay, cans. Yeah. Cans. Honestly, yeah. it's uh there's a little bit of sweetness, is there not? Yeah, a little bit. I'm just getting that now. I, I think I think our guy said uh it definitely wasn't too unsweet. It's not completely dry, which I like. It it, it kinda helps with that like oaky smashability factor. Yeah. yeah. Um All right, what's your next one? You got you got uh um so we're at three you wanted ten <laughs> this is you. <laughs> I, I, can't three even think of, I can't think of one yeah uh a backyard is that different than having a picnic <laughs> backyard picnic oh we uh, have a pizza oven in our backyard dude, so like just this, down on the corner just, we have a, we have like, <laughs> just yeah you outside would, your local bodega you know just chilling we have a pizza oven in our backyard so like this you know if you have a pizza oven in your backyard uh yeah. just you know make some pizzas we've only made pizzas in it one time uh we've done we've tried a lot more than that but uh yeah but yeah this would go well with pizza Great pizza wine. Yeah, uh, uh, it'd be a good ceviche wine, to oh, be honest. Yeah. Like, like fit. Would, like, yeah, like, like that. You know, like shrimp, and then you like toss it in like the lime oh, and like yeah, yeah. Uh, a cilantro and and onions and stuff. It's yeah. like fish salad. Yeah, you could drink it at a restaurant. You could drink it at a restaurant. Uh, is that your top? Is that one of your top yeah. ten places? Is that a restaurant? Yeah. Top, okay. Yeah. I mean, uh, where, I'm like, where else do you drink what? You know, dude. Like, I don't know, like <laughs> under a bridge, like, <laughs> like. Yeah. H- how about uh, your local bridge? Game of Thrones, yeah. like in the mead hall. The mead hall. You okay. know, so like someone I'm just close. pours up a glass yeah. of this for me, and I'm like. So go to your local this, mead hall. This might be the best one. Or maybe like uh, uh, the your, little short guy. Your local bathhouse. 
I don't oh, know yeah. Hell have... yeah. Go to, go to your local <laughs> bathhouse. Go to your local uh, public bathhouse uh, yeah. that we have yeah. all over the place. Yeah. Um, like sit on like the edge of the like tile pool and just yeah or there's of, like a courtyard a in the bathhouse naked old and men. Yeah, yeah, yeah 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 there's like you're, you're just watching people bathe with yeah. a glass of this and like yeah you couldn't the afternoon couldn't go by slower. i would i would you know you're just yeah. you're just enjoying yourself so much yeah there's but you probably to be. need like two or three of them oh they're just bringing them yeah they yeah, have yeah. them at the oh, concession yeah. stand <laughs> in the bath they've yeah. got i mean i'd rather drink i'd rather have this. this i'd rather be drinking this in that scenario than like uh i don't like like green tea a f- or a f- no, like a full wine, as you know. Oh yeah, okay. you know, yeah. Smashability yeah. at the bathhouse, nine out of ten. Yeah, I'm thinking you wouldn't drink it in a bath necessarily, <laughs> although you, you could. Wait, that is like. That's I was just, thinking like when you get out, so you're like exhaust, like from the heat. You've been in the steam. You wouldn't want to drink wine in that. Like you're just, and then you like dry off. Maybe you get a little cold post bath shower. Mineral, you know, like you got okay. the mineral water. So this isn't like a get in your bathtub at home one. Oh, okay. I wasn't thinking of it like that, but okay. like you could do that too. I was thinking like a mineral spring, and then you like get out. Yeah, yeah. You you put your robe on, and then you're like sitting. You're like cooling down a little bit. Your internal body temperature was like yeah a little too high, and you're like just smashing that. You know, yeah. like maybe like one ice. You're thinking it's gonna make you. Uh, it, you're thinking it's gonna hydrate you, and it doesn't. Yeah, you know. And you you get through two bottles, and you're like that mineral bath and two bottles of wine did not do me the spiritual mind and body wellness that I needed for the day that I thought it was going to do. I think it. Well, it didn't. Or it did. <laughs> I, I don't I think, think it, it did. did. I don't I think it did. It maybe maybe like maybe like spirit. Yeah, maybe maybe spiritually. You feel pretty good. You're lazing your way home that yeah. day. You know. I don't know. As that, the like, sun, my body. As the sun goes down. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that sounds like fun. We should have more public mineral baths around. We need a lobby for that. Mm-hmm. Um, those are fun. That was like I, my brother and I did this hike a few years ago, and we were in like uh, uh, New Mexico or something. I honestly can't remember where it was, but it was like. We hiked through this slot canyon. I think it was about, let I me mean, 12 miles or something. Is that and just it, a narrow canyon? Yeah. It's okay. like, and it was probably like, it, it was really tall. It was like, I don't know how tall tall is, but like maybe 200 feet was like this canyon walls. And it was like maybe like 100 feet wide or something. And then this, the river flowing through it. So you had to cross the river like, like 14 times or something to get to the end. And it's just like a, the bank would end. And then you got to cross. Yeah. And it's just a dead end at the end of this slot canyon. Yep. And then we just sat in a uh, mineral bath uh, hot spring literally all night and didn't get out until it turned dark. Just a natural, like a yeah, yeah, natural spring. And we were the only. That ones sounds there. pretty awesome. It was honestly like one of the best, one of the coolest things I've ever done. Okay, add and Slot it- Canyon <laughs> Spring to yeah. places where I drink this wine. Yeah, l- l- lug this wine to the to the back of a dead end slot Slot Canyon with a hot spring mineral uh pool heck yeah yeah um would you drink it in space a beach <laughs> yeah a beach yeah yeah for sure yeah would you drink it in space hell yeah why not i, I, g- I guess I that's like what anything kind of, what kind of wine, any wine? Like, what do you drink in space though i was thinking like something like something crazy but I don't know what that is, you know. Water would be good, but yeah, I could imagine like, myself like if there's like an orb of this float, you know, like oh, you know, yeah, yeah, and you're just like like a straw, you're, just yeah. like stick the straw in the orb, and you're like, yeah, pour this bottle out in the ISS, the International Space Station, <laughs> yeah, and then it's floating in midair like this, yeah. And you just you got take four it. straws. It's like a hookah. <laughs> <laughs> like everybody's just like sipping out of this orb. That's like, I mean, that's pretty badass for anyone. That's so we would recommend that yeah, ten out of ten. A, that's a real dream. Do you think it smells though? Do you think you can smell it, or because it's all floating together, like there's no like Fumes. aroma? Can you smell things in space like that? I'm sure you can smell like farts, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, like moving around. They gotta be right, or they yeah. just stay right where they are. No, I have they no, idea. no, they move around. But like, I mean, yeah, they move around. But like, if you watch them on, like, water will like move very slowly. 
and right. it kind of needs like coercion too. Right, like you could you could kind of do like an avatar, yeah, water bender, b- yeah. water like and like push it the, over just to, the whole bottle. It, <laughs> and it, yeah, yeah, cool. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> what do we have next? Um, what do you got on the notes there? <laughs> yeah, let me just like get nervous. Let me no. check my notes. Okay, so. I don't know anything about astrological signs, but we were saying if we could put an astrological sign to right, this. I'll pull up. I'll pull it up. What do I do? Uh, astro- astrological sign. Astrological sign. <laughs> chart. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and <laughs> we can just pause real quick. I mean, what's like? <laughs> we can just pause here and then pause. <laughs> First spill on Winecast. Oh, my, my good friend, my dear companion. Mm. Just please don't do that again. What did he do? He tried to jump over the court. Oh, just, that was him? Yeah. I thought you did it. Nah. I say we just don't move anything. No, no, no. Like, like a diagram. Okay. We should do a, like a tarot reading or something like Ooh. we should get aida does them yeah have a aida on mm-hmm. here yeah okay we're, we're gonna be the mystical i'm gonna go through these and you're going to woo wine woo woo wine heck yeah i'm here for it yeah. i'm gonna go through these and you're gonna uh is that still going nice <laughs> we're gonna see welcome back to Winecast, the Quick. only source for all your wine uh, and information and <laughs> and disinformation. <laughs> this okay. is a, a fake news wine podcast. This is a, fi- a fake news site. <laughs> I- opinions only, actually. Yeah. All right, so we're going to do the tarot card reading, uh, astrological zodiac symbols, and pairing, wine pairings. Yeah. We're zodiac symbol wine pairing. Which is impressive because we're both going to learn about... Zodiac yeah, we're going to go for real the qu- first time. Real quick, we're going to go through this. Uh, neither of us know anything. I mean, I know what my sign is. I don't really... I mean, I kind of know about it, but we're going to go through it real quick. And I then think w- this is an Aries. And then we'll go... And then we'll decide. Okay. It's light, right? Like a- Aries? Like Aries? Like Aries. Oh, like yeah. That, like <laughs> okay. But f- from what little I know about Aries is they're like... Okay. Yeah. It says here they're like impors- impulsive and forceful. No. So like, well, okay. To describe that, it's like, uh, they're just like chaotic, like chaotic, or like, I guess it seems <laughs> fair to like all the Aries people. <laughs> they're well, literally they're just, just chaotic, forceful people. <laughs> well, that's. I mean, I'm not the one writing the zodiac signs, dude. Fierce. I'm literally just reading about it. For fierce, the first forceful, time. courageous. I think they're just like if. It's like someone. This is not like, a courageous you're line like to me. Cooking in the kitchen and just like shits flying everywhere. You like chopping and it's just like. No, know, I think like, that's like. I think that's like. A, I think that's. A, I think there's one that's a little more chaotic. All right. Well. Okay. okay. All right. Aries. <laughs> do it. What do we, we think? It's Aries. No. Because it. I, okay. This Fierce, one. Forceful, cur- courageous, impulsive. The symbol it's not is courageous. A, the symbol is a ram. It's not because cra- it. Okay, this wine is not like I'm gonna go out and get my enemy. This wine is like I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, life is good. I'm just gonna enjoy. You okay, know, I'm just All gonna right. like hang moving back. On, moving on, moving on. Moving on. Taurus, sensuous, peaceful, stable. Kind so it of. sounds like it sounds like kind of like Zen. This thing like Tauruses are like supposed to be like Zen, uh, like. Uh, I mean, they're just kind of grounded and, um, you know, of, of, the, of the ground, of the earth. They're, they what are. does obstinate mean? I don't know. Headstrong. Okay, so they're like, they Obst- love you, but they're like, I don't know. Yeah, this they're going like to stick to their guns. All right. Taurus sounds a little like, uh, they're like peaceful. The strong, silent type. Yeah, okay. I don't think that's this. All right. I, I, I'm going to put that as so far out of the two. It's more that than it is the All other right, one. All right, Gemini, moving on. Mental, communicative, perceptive, superficial. No. No. Cancer, nurturing, emotional, emotional. intuitive, em- empathetic, moody. 
No. no. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Leo. Wait, do you know what you are? I'm a Pisces, I think. All right, we haven't got there yet. Leo, I'm a Leo. We're gonna go. Oh, well, we can we can if we figure out what it is. But yeah, then just keep we'll, reading it. Yeah. All right, I'm a Leo, a kingly, expressive, self-confident, egocentric. Uh, dude, I would not say that's really. I know. I've a never very good description of you. I've never really identified as Leo, but I am like as cusp as you. Are can, you on the edge? I'm as cusp as What's you can your possibly be. What's your rising moon? <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you call it? I don't know. It's like, I don't know. I'm a, but I'm I'm a, I'm, a, I'm August sun. I'm August twenty second. So. Is that make the next one is a Virgo? Does that make that me? Is that is it? I don't know. Is, is September Virgo? Okay. Anyways, moving on. We don't think this wine is Leo. <laughs> <laughs> Virgo. Uh, next one, which is I assume is September because cool. Anyways, chest, chaste, chest, detail oriented, serving, no. perfectionist. No, nope. move on. And I'm getting notes here from the producer that this next one is... Um, it's kind of Libra energy to me. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's every... Okay, Libra is the one where like people who are Libras, you're like, okay, actually, 100%. All like, right, they're, so... They're like all right, so, so that. This is uh, what, what? We're, what we're hearing... Yes. <laughs> and then they just like kind of like so uh, so put all, yeah, put all So Libra, balance, people. harmony, reconciling, indecisive. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. got a, like I mean it's very about like we well, were talking about like juxtaposition. That I mean juxtaposition There's a lot of imp- juxtaposition. Imposes, er, in, implies balance I think because without like to for it to be good and have juxtaposition that means it needs balance. You know what I mean? Like if something yes. is if it's not balanced, but there's juxtaposition. But sometimes like things are good in just like a totally harmonious way, where it's like, right, everything works. Like Together. there's no ba- there's no like opposite. Right. There's just right, right. like okay, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. So but this, this has, is like this has balance because it has both. It has spectrums. Yeah, it yeah. has wide spectrums. Yeah, and it has a uh, it has a. Uh, and and there's what does it say reconciling? Yeah, I mean that. I mean it that's kind what, of reconciles well, like the, the lightness reconciles the stemmy the, and yeah, the yeah, oak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, and the saying. age. Yeah, and yeah. the oak. Yeah, and the yeah. oak age. And I mean indecisive. Interest, this is kind of more interesting than I thought it was going to be. Actually, yeah, I like yeah. this. Uh, All right. Indecisive. <laughs> indecisive. I mean, you know, that's uh, that's the last Libra note from whatever website I'm looking at. I mean, I guess you could say indecisive. I don't really think it matters yeah. here nor there. Like, you know, it. All you know, the variety of taste, whatever. Yeah, I don't know. All right, let's go through the rest of these just so we know okay. if we decide for the coming weeks. for the next segments. Yeah, yeah. are we gonna keep this up? Yeah, cool. I think we, yeah. we continue smashability score. 10 places however many we can get through okay and we didn't even count how many we did <laughs> it doesn't matter all right and zodiac signs yeah zodiac i like that yeah sign. it's kind of honestly like the same way like they're they're loose enough to describe a lot of different people's characteristics yeah aside from yours <laughs> which it hit zero of yeah yeah um i've i've always felt that way i've never identified with a Leo. Yeah. All right, but we'll all right, we'll all right, go through these and then we'll Sorry. get to yours and we'll see how you line up with yours. <laughs> okay, so after Libra is Scorpio and they are intense, instinctual, sexual, and secretive. Whoa. Ooh, that when we find that one, that will be fun. I think I, I know one that comes to mind on that. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I like that. So sex you know, what do they call it when it's like a, a wine that makes you feel or not a wine aphrodisiac. Like, yeah, aphrodisiac. Yeah. yeah. Like chocolate yeah, yeah. and wine, I think, right? Yeah. I mean yeah. yeah, those are both that. All right. Sagittarius is after Scorpio. Uh friendly, open minded, philosophical, imprudent. That sounds like a fun wine too. Yeah. Philosophical. How okay. heady like a heady one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like like you drink it and you're like <laughs> yeah. start talking cool. talking about some some cool. aliens. Okay, Capricorn after Sagittarius. Practical, ambitious, masterful. That's gonna be like uh that's gonna be like a classic old world uh yeah. or even like a California like yeah. but the, like, like but where like the, sta- the hierarchy like is good, strong. Like a good staple. Strong. Mandavi. Yeah, like a baby. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 
Aquarius. Um, Friday, baby. Yeah. Friday. Yeah, baby. Yeah, <laughs> yeah baby. Friday. It's Friday. <laughs> fried fucking Fu- chicken. My, my <laughs> kids <laughs> one of my favorite. <laughs> I got the check. Fried chicken. Yeah, baby. <laughs> okay, I'm the Aqua- man. Aquarius. I'm the is, man, baby. Wait, Aquarius is good. Revolutionary, intensive, abstract, intelligent, unpredictable. Unpredictable is definitely a good characteristic for wine. Yeah, so, yeah, for sure. And I think, I mean, there's not too be, unpredictable. We. There'll we be a like lot that. of wi- there'll be a lot of wines yeah. that'll be like that. I would say most people like predictability. Yeah. In cool. in like especially if it's like one bottle of wine, you'd like to know what it's going to taste like the next time you buy it. But sometimes no. I mean, I don't really care. Yeah, I don't care either. We talked about this last week. Yeah, we it's did like, talk about. It. It's like that's kind of the old where everyone was trying to make everything taste the same, and then you know what? Yeah. Yolo. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Last one and hail here is a pisces selfless mystical compassionate imaginative sensitive thank you i i mean yeah sure I cool agree. yeah yeah i've I always identified with mine more I than i would like to i definitely I don't, don't disagree i, I don't like to believe in i've known you, you know, for long enough to uh vouch for those i'm mystical i'm uh i'm sensitive i'm a sensitive mystical king so Hell yeah. And you're kingly and and like a, a dominator or something. Like, I don't know what your fucking thing is. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. That's, I mean, you're a kingly like conqueror. Yeah. I mean, anybody who yeah. knows me. I'm, maybe, I, uh, maybe I'm a, quick, s- I'm a quick. Maybe you're a real quick, Machiavellian. I'm a quick decision maker. <laughs> I'm a ruler. I can. <laughs> you are not a quick decision maker. I, 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 um, I rule over my. Uh, friends and family with an iron fist. Yeah, right. You're just taking charge in every situation. Yeah, um, yeah just taking the reins yeah. for the good of everybody. Yeah, you know, noble but forceful, <laughs> or but like a like a steady guiding hand. Okay, you guys don't know, and no one knows me, but that's literally couldn't be further. <laughs> <than Mitch. Yeah. laughs> Mitch cannot pick a restaurant to go to. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, if somebody was gonna kill me, I'd be yeah, like, probably I'd be like, gun to your you head. Choose. Yeah. <laughs> I with the gun juice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know. How long has it been? I don't know. Hour and what? It, no, those are in I like beats per minute or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can you check the time on the camera? Yeah. We, we want to try to be like producer, an hour, right? Producer Emma. Uh, 47 minutes. Oh, cool. 10 minutes cleanup time. I have great things to talk about then. Um, We've only gone 37 minutes of talking. 45. Oh, 37. Yeah, Holy that's cool. Crap, dude. No, that's pretty good. I mean, I think we want to be like the cusp of an hour. Okay. Yeah. Right. You know, the All last right. one was a little long because Christian showed up. It was like an hour twenty. All right. All right. So we'll talk about your new job now. Oh, okay. <laughs> we is can that, talk about my new job now. Is that, that sounding like that's what you want to talk about? No, no, no. I want. Okay. I'll talk about that. I want. I have other things oh, that I wrote on down list. on the okay. piece of paper to talk about. Oh, so. okay. Let's hear it. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, developments on the front with my job would be that I got the job. I will be going out to, uh, Sonoma County in August through October, maybe a little later, um, to help, uh, a winery, a small winery there that does all, all natural, uh, all native yeast, Really cool winery, um, small batch. You know they only do a couple varieties of grapes. It's it's very niche. It's very boutique stuff going on. They you know you got to be on a waiting list for three years to get a bottle. So should be pretty cool. Um, fancy, fancy. It's a lot of stuff that I've done already. Uh, this is why you got the job. Right. So I know I, I've done it with my home wine making, and uh, I would have to say that home wine making. Uh, would help you out more for something similar to this size winery and not much bigger. Oh, so, because right. processes start to change as you try to make so more different. wine. Yeah, it turns yeah. into like the Coca Cola factory, you know, where it's yeah. like like science. But these guys are just they're chilling. They're making small batch wine. It's pretty cool. I cannot wait. I've never been to California in my life. Um, so that'll be interesting. It's gonna Heck be a yeah. long drive to get out there, but. Should be pretty fun. Um, yeah, and then my dad's going to pick up the reins of uh, resident winemaker. For at, your wine? Yeah, nice. at, uh, at 
a Wind River Farms. I can, I can go be a hand. Yeah, he will need yeah. the help, dude. Yeah. Um, he wants to do the same I got amount the of job. wine. I got the job for the winemaker. Dude, <laughs> I got replaced. <laughs> Mitch swoops in on my old job, on my old gig. Um, hey, I'm down. I think cool. we're going to get a big fermenter, too, this year cool. at, at my parents' house. So, so that'll you, be pretty neat. You get you get a winemaker job, and I get my winemaker there's job. Levels. There's levels. Yeah. There's levels to this shit. Cool, dude. Um, you get a job, I get a job. Yeah, yeah, it should be fun. So uh, he'll need the help. <laughs> so yeah, I, hope sure. you, yeah. I hope you can help him out with that. Yeah, um, definitely. I told uh, I'm gonna give him like instructions. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But and yeah, you know, only a phone call away. Yeah, it shouldn't be too hard. So that's fun. And then we've got some grapes planted. Uh, we had an interesting, interesting uh, frost happen this year. Very late. What? What's? It's it's late April right now. It's April. It was just 4:20. Yeah, it was like on 420. It like frosted, yeah. basically. Um, and uh, and that was not good because I had a lot of buds and a lot of foliage that had come out, and then they just snap froze. We got snow. We got frozen rain. It was terrible. So yeah. so uh, I'm hoping that my vines recover well and that we can we can uh, you know continue to grow some healthy vines this year but we'll see um we never found out what carbonic fermentation was i want to come back to that i also want to talk about this guy who is spending a hundred million dollars on missouri wineries i kind of want to get into that a little bit if we could he's like some dude from washington missouri and we talked about him on the first one but we didn't really get any deets and I was talking to somebody else, and they said he's already buying up like oh he's already owns like, all the wineries. Yeah, he owns almost like, all the wineries already. So what's up with that? I don't know, dude. He's just some rich financier, and he's like, I'm coming back to Missouri. I went to Florida. I'm old and gray, and now I'm coming. <laughs> I'm coming back and he's buying all. Hot. He's like, I just I'm coming back and buying all the wine. Um, so yeah, uh, we start off with. Let's talk about carbonic, uh, carbon maceration, mac- machinations. Maceration is like <laughs> these carbonic machinations. <laughs> maceration is like like I mean a lot of like people do that. You just like put sugar on fruit basically, and it like breaks down the fruit and makes like juices, and that's what oh. maceration is. Okay. So carbonic maceration apparently is a winemaking thing. Uh, French wine associated with French wines. Um, whole grapes are fermented in a carbon dioxide rich environment prior to crushing. Yep. So, oh, <laughs> really? So they're just, that's they're, so interesting. They're, they're like, they're pumping yep. CO2 into a tank while fermenting before the grapes are crushed. Okay. That makes so much sense. But I don't think that makes I don't think that makes it like a fizzy wine necessarily because no. that's, this is this is carbonically fermented, so and this was totally flat, which is like different than the pet nat we were talking about a couple weeks ago where that you're like fermenting it and keeping the CO two that's created. So what they're doing is imagine just throwing a bunch of grapes into a container. And not crushing them up and not doing anything. There would be all these little air holes where like bad things would happen, right? So they fill it in with CO2. So they fill it in with CO2. The bad bacteria, like the bad growth can't happen in the CO2. And it'll just ferment. I have no idea why they wouldn't just crush it up. But it must have something to do with like... Well, I think they don't want to ferment it when it's crushed up. They don't want to ferment. They want to ferment whole. Right, but it means it's like, not about it the means like uh, no. What, what would happen? Like okay, think we're about out of it. Wine, dude. This is <laughs> no, no, no. You don't want to open that. Do you want to get the? Uh... <laughs> I thought there was one behind us. Can you please get the pink wine out of the fridge, producer, Emma? ladies and gentlemen? Emma. Emma, our producer, we're our, just our new producer. It's honestly not that bad having like another person here not talking. That bad. Well, no, I mean, like, no, I was a little, it's like, it's I was good. like afraid. I, I was a little like, ooh, you know, oh, like, yeah, yeah. like, I didn't know if I yeah. was going to be well, like I weird. Asked you, it was like, like, is it okay if she's here? 
and you were like, ah, you didn't answer right away. <laughs> no, no, no. I didn't. Mean, well, I was just like, I, I hope I'm not going to be like more less. I don't know. More or less. Uh, we're all good now. We're actually very glad she's here. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's, it's a positive. Good ideas. We, for it's the a positive force fancy, uh, in the, uh, yeah. in the universe. Yeah. Yeah. Emma Oldehoff, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Singing the praises. Okay, first ever time on Winecast, a second bottle. Yeah. <laughs> in 30 minutes. We're not gonna we're not gonna wait till we finish though, right? Like what? I don't know. <laughs> no, I, I need wine if we're gonna keep talking. Yeah, yeah, show. we can keep talking. Yeah. So uh Pet we, Nat, baby. Yeah, this is Yeah, baby. We won't, we won't talk too much. We already did a pet nat a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. This is uh from South Africa. Uh uh, contains only natural surfites. So this is a fully, fully natural wine, 11 and percent alcohol. It's going to be a, a tad bit sweet. Um, it's orange. As you can see, um, the winery is forced select. Uh, yeah. Pet, yeah. It's looking pet yummy. Nat, rose. And then we'll just, I don't know what natural sulfides mean though, because literally all of them are just like mined yeah. out of the ground. So, well, like, People say no think, sulfites is natural. So they're doing ooh. ooh. They're doing a little little bit of word. Mm, kind of stinky. <laughs> okay. Um <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it's so like, let me just say why I think they're doing the whole cluster and then we can go from there. So you know how like fruit We'll get the outside if you let it sit out like as as fruit is fermenting, right? The usually the skin is going to get soft. The skin is kind of going to do this weird thing. And if you crush it up, the skin's never going to have a chance to like kind of release all its essential all its oils and oh, stuff. Yeah, and yeah. like 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 uh just do its thing. So I think it has something to do with like keeping the grape intact so that the skin can do a thing. Well, that's yeah. when, when it's not, when it's not like in the, in the, in the must, like well, in the liquid. That's what, that's what maceration is about. You put sugar on fruit on and then, fruit, and yeah. you leave it whole. Like you just stir it and let it sit and the fruit and the sugar just like breaks down the fruit and sucks all the good stuff out and like makes a syrup. So I love that. This is like carbonic version of this, I guess. So instead of adding sugar, you're doing it with uh, CO2. Yeah. And apparently that is having the same effect as uh, sugar. It's and it's like keeping it's keeping it. stuff from like going funky yeah. in the bad way. Um, so that's fascinating. And I'm glad we know that now because um, that's really something something interesting. What yeah. do you think of the wine? You made a face. It's good. Okay. You made a face and went. <laughs> no, so I, I didn't know. That the was producer like, is saying this wine tastes like salami. So, salami? Yeah. So, Are you uh, getting text messages? Cold. Hey. The, uh, <laughs> All right. Cold cuts. All right. I'm on the outside of the text <laughs> messages. <laughs> um, I think the smell, I can kind of understand what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> this wine <Gabagool>. smells cool. <laughs> a little bit of, a little it's bit. It's got of, that gabagool. Uh, I can smell it. For I sure. do. I totally know it's what like, you mean. It's like that's mm, so crazy. It's like <laughs> it's like meaty or like fatty or that's salty or something like all three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Deli vibes. <laughs> yeah. So. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> you put it up to your nose and you're like. So, oh my yeah, god, that that's like, so weird. What? All right, coming what? in hot from the new producer. The um, tasting, the tasting notes are just hitting the nail on the head. <laughs> <laughs> sort of throwing us for a loop here with the salami Whoa, I would have never <laughs> the salami one. That's ridiculous. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> that's so. It tastes like a cured like, so, like yeah, ham. Cured meat wine. Cured meat wine. Uh, yeah, congratulations. <laughs> Who made this? If you like salami, which I know you do, this is the one for is you. Is it okay, though? Are we okay with it? I'm not 100% sure yet. It's, it's going to take me a minute. Yeah. So we can also just preface 
I think it lowers the smash ability. It does for sure. Because it, you cannot really like put down a lot of. It's like a lot of salami. It, it's like sit there and eat a. <laughs> try to sit there and eat a bowl of salami. Like see what happens. <laughs> like, like as for as light and summery as this looks. Yeah. It's a little bit like. Yeah. Of a mouthful. Well, and so that's one of the things about natural wine is you can get off <laughs> taste in it. Yeah, yeah. And that's part of that's part of the game. Yeah. So and this is like this is a full natural. Yeah. So you might be getting, we might be getting. It's like you know a few, an unintended a, a flavor we- there. A few weeks ago, we had that like real Barney footy wine. And this yeah. is like, I mean, it tastes way different, but it's like the same sort of scenario where you just get this like way left field smell and taste. yeah yeah it might go away i hope it does so we're not crazy about this we're not crazy about that which is sad because yeah. it's like a 25 dollar bottle of wine yeah sorry guys whoever made it well really they should say sorry to us but <laughs> <laughs> that's fine hey first wine yeah. on the show that we don't aren't crazy about not crazy about it we're gonna um, drink it though Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Force you guys to drink it. Yeah, we'll drink it. She might not drink it, but (laughs) I'm gonna drink it. Apparently, I need Uh, some help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's not that bad. It's kind of a. I think it's gonna open up and. I I smell it. I smell the salami, and I don't taste it immediately when I drink it. But then I taste it a little after. So like. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. It's like not in the middle. It's like the beginning and the end. You know. Yeah. Yeah. You're totally so, right. Like the fir- like right when it hits your mouth, it's not like immediate meat. No, no, it's like fizzy and like a little fruity. Uh, fruity yeah, but then it goes down, and you're like, oh, I'm tasting what I smell. It's almost like a weird orange rind too. If I could put like if I could put the salami taste in a different light, it's almost like a like a funked up orange orange rind. Yeah. You know? Oh yeah. I'm trying like, to like describe the salaminess in a different way. Yeah, just like just like if you like bite into an orange like an apple or something and you're like, yeah. why did I do that? Yeah. You know? Yeah. And there's a sticker on it. But not so much like the other Oregon pet net where it was uh Dude, we're calling these guys out. Uh <laughs> we should <laughs> Hey, we can't like you we can't no, like, no, no, I, I every like single yeah. one. I otherwise I'm, we're we I have no credibility. Yeah, fuck you guys. As, honestly. As uh master tasters and which we are not uh sommeliers there's actually interesting so the guy i was telling you about the other day uh his name is james suckling which is a <laughs> just a cringy name <laughs> super cringy name you were not telling me about this were you i think he has a master class i was telling you about his oh, master okay. class sure um and he's always like this might be one of the best wines this one he's ever made like you know yada yada and i don't know if that's just his instagram and like there are cases of him being like, because he's always on Zoom calls with like winemakers, and he's like, I, "You killed it this year," and it's like, "Are they killing it every year?" Like, yeah. like I'm not sure about this guy's integrity if he's just like gassing up all these like everyone all the time. Yeah, you yeah. Know what I no, mean? you like, gotta have some uh, some uh, like what's up with that to yeah. critique. Right, right. But so so Wait, and like or like so. even if like you're finding like if you don't if you're like and you're not putting the content out where you, about the ones that you don't like, I feel like that's pretty sus too. It's like, oh, I admit there are wines that I don't like, but I don't feel like that's like a shareable thing. That's like kind of sus because like... Well, I think I could understand it from two ways. One, you are more likely to post about stuff you're excited about that you like. Yeah. Two, uh, if it's a winery that like you kind of have a relationship with or like that normally makes good wine and you're like mm, not really like not one i would recommend this year like yeah whatever like the 2018 i wouldn't really recommend it um maybe you don't want to say that and then have them like be like well what the what the heck man you know yeah but i think i mean it definitely improves your integrity to say stuff like that right to to yeah yeah I, to be like Hey, no, no. Uh, I mean, if you can tell your audience about something that is not, you know, they and maybe maybe someone will like it. Like maybe we're describing this that we don't like in a salami, and like yeah. someone's like, "Ooh, that's like," you know. Maybe there's some salami there's, out there who, <laughs> <laughs> who love it. <laughs> yeah, and they're like, "Yeah, I'll just." Uh, this might be what you've been waiting for. Piece of cheese. See what happens. You know, salami and cheese. 
The producer is saying that helps. It's actually, I think, I think the salami taste is burning off a little bit. Or like, I actually don't. I actually disagree. Really? I just gave it a big whiff, and I literally feel like, like when you when you cut open that seal on a pack of salami, it's like that tight wrap. <laughs> you get that big first whiff. <laughs> When the salami condom breaks. When the salami is. When the salami condom just <laughs> comes through and you get that giant first whiff. Mm-hmm. Like you brought it home. That's what I feel like when this. Mm-hmm. I've honestly, I've been trying not to smell it. Yeah. It helps if you don't smell it. If you just mm-hmm. taste it. You still get it on the swallow. You mm-hmm. get the flavor, but it's but like better when it's, that way. When it's in your mouth, yeah. Sometimes wine smells so different than they taste. Yeah, totally. Um, we can say the smashability is like a s- five. Yeah, I'd give it like a a low five Four? to a high. Yeah, it could be like yeah five range. It's 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 pro it's not uh, yeah I wouldn't even encroach a six actually. Can I see who these people are that are doing this? I think it's from South Africa. Let me let me let me what it give me give me the what do I type in here? We should get the notes on it. Dude, what is Swartland? Force Celeste Swartland. Uh, Force Celeste. You can look up their website too. Oh no, that's a importer. Sorry. I think this is from South Africa. Which we're not like you know, products of South Africa. I'm not totally talking trash on them. It's honestly better than a lot of wine, but it's definitely got that thing that it's just a it's just a different flavor. It's sus. This wine is sus. Do we want to rate this on the astrological thing, or is that just too much? Uh, no, I think we already did that once this week. Right. We gave it a we gave it a chugability of like. Four and a half to five. Smash. Smash ability. Um, What's its glug glug score? This. Uh, <laughs> the. Um, some wine website is giving it notes of raspberry, blood orange, guava, I and do get the blood orange. sour beer. Yeah, blood orange in like a pet nat rose is kind of like built in at this point from what we've tasted. Uh, yeah, from what we've had. Yeah. I'm getting the blood orange though for sure. Yeah. Uh, so I think that's a good tasting note, but I, I agree with like a lot of South African wines and, um, yeah, a lot of South African wines kind of have that it's hot. They, they, they're on that peninsula where they, they're just getting blown by the sea, you know, constantly it's grown in decomposed granite, which is kind of interesting. Whoa. That's gnarly, dude. Yeah. Um, that's always, <laughs> you get into wine <laughs> And then all of a sudden you're like a geologist for no reason. That's cool. I, that's honestly one of my favorite. Th- is like, like and oh, when rocks, and, I love rocks. And now. when you and when you started making wine back in the day, that mm-hmm. was like one of you know that was like one of the most interesting things is like I was learning about like your soils and the different in or grow, yeah, your soils and your different areas that you're growing wines. Yep. I really like that. And then yeah, I I at the same time I was t- I took a trip to California and. Yep, you go to all the wineries and they're like telling you about their soil. Did you go like to a lot of wineries there? Uh, or a few? Yeah, we. I had one day in Napa and we went to like three or four. How was that? It was fun. I mean, I don't really remember it. Do you think like, I'll go to wineries when I'm there? You better. What are you asking me for? I don't know. I didn't know if they were like hard to get into. I didn't no. know like what no, the... They, like you just they roll up. They're like, you just it's like, like... It's like a sales pitch, dude. Okay. They like want you to be there, you know? Are they going to... Okay. Yeah, you literally just roll up and they're like giving you wine to, you know you're buying a, you know they're like selling and and giving it's like you know it's it's like it's like being sold you know yeah they're like and they want you to like buy a case of yeah like, exactly exactly yeah okay they're okay, trying to get you to buy a lot of wine they're like how big is that car <laughs> <laughs> you got a you got a prius you probably fit like six seven cases in there yeah this, easy this what i changed websites and this uh, this website is saying a, it has a savory edge, which is a, a salami edge, which is aligning. Yeah, yeah, which is aligning with what we've been not saying. All, well, salami is savory. Not all savory means 
salami, right? Right. Like, but but well, we picked but 100% up hundred percent. We picked what up on mean. the savory yeah. and and described it as what sal- an interesting tasting. And described note. it as salami from the producer. Yeah, <laughs> like literally. S- cheers. We would have just been like. It's really good. (laughs) (laughs) Love drinking it. Uh, Tastes like tastes like fruit. (laughs) Tastes like grapes. Okay. Some are some are just have a gift, you know. Okay, we've done two wines. Um, Mm. ate some salami. I want to talk about the guy from. You want to save that? Yeah, let's save it. We go. We introduced him again. This is the original wine. this was what the episode was about today. We the love case, this wine. The Casey Labs Zinvintel, uh, Stemmy, Oaky, Light, yeah. Red Wine. Really good. Yeah, uh, baby. What was the... Yeah, baby. Yeah. What was the astrological sign on this? Libra. It was Libra. A, this is a Libra wine. If you're Lib- All you Libras out there, go get this shit. Yes. You love it. Yeah, and, you're going to vibe. And what is it dethroning, Hale? Calibrating, calibrating. We want this. Wait, so let's just talk it through. Okay, yeah, we haven't. I don't. I can't. Cherries and rainbows. I always drink this okay, one, like this is the glug glug out. of glug glugs. Okay, this is the number one natural wine that. Uh, I mean, this has just it been is. a staple for so long. It is, but it's also a twenty dollar. So like, it's not. It's staying up there. Yeah, no, it's no. I agree. No, it's a good. It's a good. It's a great wine, and it's very glug glug. Like chuggability, we, chuggability, chuggability is like, like not, nine, nine yeah. out of ten. Yeah. But it's a twenty dollar bottle, so I wouldn't call it like the most. No, but it, but we started there. We kind of started yeah. with that, yeah. and and that got this, everybody. This we did last week. We're trying. To, we're trying to do this quick. We did this last week. Uh, chuggability. We like that one a lot. Uh, nine out of ten. Yeah. Uh, this, this one I don't remember. Oh, that's a pet. Pet Nat Rosé, yeah. Chuggability, nine out of ten. Okay, so <laughs> the populace, the reason we're gonna take this one down, is not because we don't love it. It's, it's good. It's because it's pretty inconsistent as far as it's, it when tastes you like buy it. Uh, when you open it up, it usually smells like feet or an old attic. Yes, and it's not in a bad way. It's kind of like a car crash where you want to just keep or you can't. Look you away, can't look away, and you can't and stop drinking it, it. You can't stop smelling it, but it does smell like that, and like sometimes the taste is off. Yeah, but it's still really good. But it's we getting love de- it. But it's, it's getting, getting dethroned for the Casey Labs Zinfandel. 